in this video I'm going to be looking at the new Acura Scale Chemflow PCV bulk cement wagons. And these have been sent to me courtesy of Acura Scale. So I'm going to take them out of the box and let's have a closer look. A total of 285 of these bulk cement wagons were introduced between 1961 and 1965. The wagons were probably best known for their use on cement trains from Cliff near Gravesend in Kent to Uddingston on the outskirts of Glasgow. When first introduced, the Metro Camel wagons carried the blue circle logo on a circular board bolted to the body side. In most cases, these boards had even fallen off or had been removed by the time the wagons received their tops markings. Constructed primarily from aluminium, the Kemflow wagons had a low tear weight. This slightly contributed to the poor riding qualities, which resulted in a number of derailments, including a fatal incident at Thursk in 1967. However, this problem was finally cured with a combination of improvements to the wagon suspension and speed restrictions, which saw Kemflow wagons limited to 35 mile an hour when loaded and 50 mile an hour when empty. Several types of locomotives are observed hauling chem flows during their time in service, including classes 25, 26 and 27, class 31s, 33s, 37s, along with class 40s, 45s, 47s, and finally some class 50s and class 85s. Just as with the PCA wagons, Acura Scale have chosen this same style of packaging which um, includes a vacuum formed shell in which the wagons sit in to stop them moving around in transit. Access to the wagons once removing the cardboard box is simple. You just unplug the top clear section and you're left with the bottom section where the wagons are sitting and in there they're nicely and securely placed with this soft touch plastic to stop them rubbing against the harder plastic um, shell here and they're easy to remove. No problems, no damage, no scares. Acura Scale made its debut on the UK scene with the release of their HUO slash HOP24 hoppers back in 2018. Since then more releases have come from the Irish based company. You may have seen my review of the PCA wagons back in April of this year when I was blown away with the level of design and detail that had gone into each individual wagon. Well it's time to see if the latest Chemflow PCV bulk cement wagons cut the mustard. First off, as you saw from the unboxing, these come in packs of three for a price of $69.95 with discount available if buying the full set. They're also sold individually for $24.94 and they're available at the AccuScale website. On the face of it, they seem very good value. Let's start with the overall shape of this Chemflow PCV wagon. Acura Scale have totally nailed it. Looking at photographs of the actual wagon, it's clear to see that great care has been taken to ensure that the proportions and dimensions of this model are just spot on. I can just imagine the Acura Scale team braving the winter conditions at Darlington as they measured up the last surviving example last year. The curve of the tank is correctly captured along with the cut off ends before they recess into review yet more detail at each end. The welds are correctly picked out and are fine enough to be convincing. Strengthening ribs or fillets are also moulded into the side of the tanks down here. Moving down to the chassis and sole bar the fine detail continues. We have exquisite panel riveting and four separately fitted strengthening sections which are these things here with the holes. The rods and pipe work are all detailed as I move down to the underframe as is the discharge operating equipment. I also like how the um, sprung leaf suspension has also been picked out. Having spoken to Patrick of Acura Scale back in February, he said that their models can be adapted to run on EM or P4 wheel sets, which is going to further broaden their appeal into the model community. This is a forward thinking approach and I hope the larger manufacturers take note of this ethos. Looking at the top of the wagon I can see a wealth of separately fitted detail. I especially like the filler caps and even the hinges have been picked out which is really a nice touch. 
and there's a clasp there that would hold the uh, cap down. Looking at the end of the wagon, I can see the buffers are of the correct type and they're lightly sprung. There's a small tension lock coupler housed in an NEM pocket. What impresses me here is just how easy the NEM pocket is to remove. So you can either have it run as it comes from the box, remove the tension lock coupler to replace it with a closer coupling system, or even take the NEM pocket away altogether. The latter would be useful for um, running at the end of a rake of wagons, allowing you to fit the screw link coupler and the pipe work. These are included in a separately sealed bag in the box. Finally, looking at the paint finish, I'm impressed that Acura Scale have managed to pull off a convincing double O gauge metallic finish, which isn't always as easy as it seems. The data panels applied, along with the overhead flash symbols, are wonderfully clear and well applied. The smallest of the data panels you can read through a magnifying glass. This set is of the TOPS numbering system, allowing me to run them with my PCA wagons at Dean Park. As mentioned in the prototype information earlier in the video, these wagons were used in the Scottish region into the 1980s. So, as is now tradition at the end of my spotlight videos, I ask if you should avoid it, consider it, or buy it. Well, there's no doubt in a curious scale are on top form just now. The wagons are exquisite, and I think they're of good value as well. On that basis, I would go ahead and buy it. If you wish to see more details about the packs available, check out the Acura Scale website. I well, hope you enjoyed the video of the Acura Scale ChemFlow wagons. They certainly are every bit as good as the previous releases from Acura Scale. It's really a case of onwards and upwards for this company, especially with the Deltic in the, in the pipeline and the Class 92. At the end of the video, I'll put some of the other releases that are forthcoming. Any questions regarding what you see in the video? Get in touch. In the meantime, happy modelling. Cheers just now.